M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quick one here showing you the Bofung DM1701. It does come under other names, Radiolity, Retivis, ETC. So it's the DM1701 DMR radio. I'm using the Retivis software here. So I've gone to this link on the right hand side and we've downloaded by clicking the link here in description and we end up with these files here. If you look on the left here, double click and at the bottom you've got any USB driver you may need. Just double click the one you require and load that. Next one down you've got the instructions, so double click that to find the instructions. Well worth reading. Let's put that on the left hand side. Like so. There you go. So read through that but the basics are you open this file on at the top with these colored blocks which you're seeing here on the right and it, it's the firmware loading it's really simple so I will do it now to download the firmware just look back go up one with the arrow here until you see this double click you're looking for firmware this time let's keep going back let's find it in our file Double click. Firmware. There it is. When you click 1701 CPS, it says firmware update. Double click and you have the firmware loader file which is here. And when you run that, you get these colored blocks that you're seeing on the right hand side. I'm going to cancel because I've already got that, but it's these ones here. And also you've got the firmware, the actual bin files. So all you do to load the firmware is turn the radio off, hold down the PTT and the button above. Like so make sure you've got a nice full battery, turn it on and the radio is flashing, the LED at the top is flashing green and red. You're in firmware load mode, let's call it. Now we'll double click the firmware loader program like so and you get this. Now select the firmware file that we want. Click open firmware file and I chose the I just chose the one at the top. Double click CSV. Now obviously this is at your risk. Uh, the one 2.03 says it's only for radiology and so does the one beneath. So you choose the one you like. In fact they all say that don't they? Only for radiology. So double but I've put it on a bow fung it's working fine. Click open and it's the second you click download file, it will start to load the firmware as you can see. Got some nice links on the right hand side here, thanks to Radiolity. You've got the Bofung programming guide, user manual, getting on air. I believe they've actually got the CS a load of CSV contacts in the file as well. Just double click up here and have a look. That's the program. Oh, the programming software is at the bottom. We'll do a video on that. But if you double click that, you end up with this CPS 1701. And it'll just load, but I've already got it. Standard DMR co plug. So at the end of the process, Download upgrade file successful. Click OK. When you turn the radio off, then on, it may ask you for a password. I've already loaded my radio. Looks like mine hasn't asked for the password, and it's already got. It's remembering what I did before, so it doesn't delete your your previous file. You know your memories and channels if you've done this correctly. But the just to show you what the CPS looks like, if we double click this program, CPS DM seventeen oh one. This is what the programming software looks like. And if we go program read, hopefully it will read from the radio because the cable's still plugged in. You read, click OK, double click basic at the top here. This is the first window you get, it's showing which firmware I've got. General settings, you want to get your call sign and DMR number up here. Don't think I changed anything else in this window. 
menu item. I did, let me think now, just look at program radio. You want to tick that so that it allows you to program the radio using just the radio, not the software. Everything else is ticked. What else we got here? Password, I unticked that, see that? The password, untick that, it won't ask for that again. General settings, menu item, buttons. You can decide what your buttons are gonna do. Wow, quite a few. Side button one, two, and three. Short and long press, I'm just gonna select a couple of things here to scan. As in zone select. Don't really want privacy. Scan on off. I'm just selecting anything at random just so that it's got things up and down screen. One touch access. Never use that. Right key, left key. Not sure what that does. Repeater talk around. You, you know, you. Power select. These are the one touch where you, I've never used them, but you can press the key and go to a certain talk group. So we're gonna go, first thing you should always do really is go file, save. Uh, quickest way is to hit the little black squarey thing there. DM170, oh, I'm gonna put two just so I don't forget. Save, and then every time you save, it'll be fine. And then if you wanna look at my zones, I just got my channels couple of uh, hotspot and a couple of repeaters. Don't need that one. Let's see if we can add my hotspot in there as well. Add channels. They're all here, the, the few that I've created. Digital, analog. It will do a nor work on a normal repeater analog excellently and DMR. Digital contacts, I've only added one. But you can import lots of contacts with us for future videos. I don't really use scan lists. And then when you're ready, save and then write data to radio. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel. Hope this helps you out with your with your radio. It's a very nice looking radio. I do use the GD77 as well. I've got separate videos. And this radio, the, the image you're seeing doesn't really do it justice. This radio is a really beautiful looking radio for a budget price. Mine came with a GD77 pre-installed. I just thought I'd have a play with this software. Quick look at the menu. Contacts, scan, zone, messages, call log, utilities. We'll enter that. Radio settings, talk around, tone alerts, power, backlight. We could turn that on, couldn't we? Oh, it is on. <laughs> backlight, squelch, intro screen. You can upload photographs, language, LED, and box. Password lock, clock, mode, voice announcement. Is that on? Let's turn it on just to be annoying. Radio info, DMR number, version, program radio, enter password. Oh, I'm surprised it's still asking for a password. So let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Receive frequency you can program. TX, oops, let's go, how do we get out of that? TX frequency, channel name, I wonder if we can change the talk group and the type, color code, time slot, TX, it lets you select a contact, that group list, hmm, that's a group list. But it's a, it's a nice looking radio and if we unplug this we should be able to hear it. Hopefully my DMR hotspot comes to life. And it does show your contact info. It's a minimum of 120,000 contacts, I would say.
bit of a delay on the camera, but thanks very much. 7-3, all the best.